There's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to iGal, international game of Whoop. We are on week number 34, and this week is the second week of the finals, and it is Downfish FBV's turn to make up the trick. So let's see what he's got in store for us. So the trick that Downfish has created for round one, week number two of the finals, is much like last week's trick in that it matches up two previous weeks of iGal. And those weeks are week number 25's Mini UTT number 3 and week number 27's Line of Sight Acro figure 8's. Combining these two tricks, Downfish has come up with these requirements. Requirement number 1 is that you set up the track the same way you did for week number 25's option number 1. So requirement number 2 is that you complete two laps while flying Line of Sight and in acro mode. And then from start of your first lap to finish of your second lap, you must be done in less than 35 seconds. And then after you complete your second lap, um, and you go through the start finish gate, you have to fly back to yourself, looking at yourself, and catch the drone in your hand to complete the trick. Just like the end of week number 27. And requirement number three is that you must fly through each gate while facing more or less forward. So you don't have to fly in continuous forward flight the entire time. You can fly backwards and around sideways to adjust. But as you're going through each gate, you must have the drone facing in that direction, more or less like you would for flying FPV. So you can't just always have the drone like facing away from you and fly through the course like that. You have to actually turn around and face each gate as you go through them. All right, so thanks to Downfish FPV for making up this trick. And it's going to be interesting to see if the other three finalists are able to pull it off. Anyway, good luck and happy whooping, guys.